Hi, it's Kate here. I'm back again today to swatch out the art materials from my previous video, which was an art haul from Jackson's and one of my local art supply shops. So I've got the Karen Dash Neo Colour 2s, and this is a selection I picked out myself. It's not a set, it's just individual colours that I was really intrigued by, um, and I'm really excited to swatch them out both dry and with water. I've got a set of three Sennelier oil pastels, and they're in pink earthy tones. I've got an XL charcoal block by Derwent, and that's in the shade Ochre. And I've got a set of 32 soft pastels by Inscribe. So I'll be swatching those out today, and I really hope you enjoy watching.
So these are the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s, the Sennelier Oil Pastels and the Derwin XL Charcoal Block swatched out. I really love the palette of Neo Color 2s that I've chosen. This one was a bit of a surprise because when I put it down dry, it was very dark, but then when I activated it with the water, it became very vibrant. I still love the colour, it was just a bit of a surprise um, when I added the water on. So these were lovely to use. They're very buttery and you can get a really thick opaque layer of colour down and the texture of the paper doesn't even show through. This is watercolour paper 300 GSM and it's got quite a grainy texture to it but I was impressed how the pastel didn't pick that up. This is the Derwent XL Charcoal Block. I really enjoyed using that. You can use the edge to get thin lines or the full block to create quite a thick line. And then this is the pigment smudged in. So now I'll move on to swatching the Inscribe Soft Pastels where I've got the set of 32. So these are the inscribed soft pastels swatched out. I've blended them a bit into the paper as well. Um, this is probably why I don't use pastels very much because it's very messy. So I had to keep on going back and forth washing my hands to prevent the colours from blending into each other so I get an accurate swatch. Um, but I'm very impressed with the colours. Some of them blended a lot better than others. So this light blue didn't really blend into the paper very much or you lost quite a lot of the pigment there. Um, whereas like these darker indigos, they're very nice and smudged into the paper really well. Um, but overall I'm impressed. It's a bit of a cheap, cheaper brand. And for what I'm going to use them for, I think it's perfect. I'm hoping to apply them over the top of acrylic or possibly to activate them with water. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, they, this is those swatched out. So that's everything from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.